It is woodworking like many have never seen before. We're talking about wood turning, and you could say one artist is turning out some incredible and functional pieces for your home, all made out of local wood. We show you how it's done as we head to Teleco Turnings in this week's Made in Tennessee. Tucked away in a small makeshift studio in Teleco Plains, Chuck Ellis is spending his retirement years doing something that he loves, turning chunks of raw wood into art. We watched as he turned this green pecan into a bowl. In just a matter of minutes, Ellis used several different tools to help him carve out the center and shape the exterior. He uses a lathe to turn the wood as he crafts each shape, much like a potter does with clay. Another advantage of wood turning? Well, it's not about measurements like traditional carpentry. In fact, you might say it's a bit more forgiving and helps spur on Ellis's creativity. Once it goes on the on the bottle, it's, it's, it goes over the mouth of the bottle and down into it. Nowadays, Ellis is making these wine stoppers, bowls, lanterns, wine glasses, pepper mills, and much more. All of it finished with several coats of polyurethane, making each one quite durable. They are food safe. You can use them as a food bowl. Um, I don't recommend using them as a hot food bowl. You know, use them as a salad bowl or peanuts and, and popcorn and things like that. As for the wood for his projects, like this eye-catching spalted hackberry, well, Ellis says it's really not hard to come by. In fact, he says friends and neighbors are more than happy to help out. Uh, they'll call me up and say, you know, I've got a tree down. Do you want it? And uh, I tell everybody it translates to, come clean up my yard. <laughs> but I do. Kind of like a win-win situation for everyone there. Of course, that also means another bonus. All of the items then are made with local wood. You can find Teleco Turnings items, and you can also find Chuck Ellis at the Market Square Farmer's Market on Saturdays. He's on Etsy, and he also has his own website. You can find out more, of course, by going to our website, wate.com.